agree with me that the three alternatives I used sounded very close to that of ROC20 and as you can see it is not cheap. At the moment it's on sale $49 or you can get it for $4.99 per month for 20 months. But in this video I'm going to show you how to get all five of its core features for 100% free. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright, here are the five features of RC20 we'll be focusing on. The noise, the wobble, distortion, digital, and magnetic. And for a bonus, we'll be talking about this EQ section. And I have a free replacement for each one. First up, we have Tape Cassette 2 by Kelum Audio. And here are the features in RC20 I'll be replacing with the features in Tape Cassette. Here you can see the wow, which will be replacing the wobble. The next is the low pass, which will be replacing the EQ section here. I would also have used the saturation feature, but I noticed that when adding this, it adds a lot of low ends and it cuts out high frequencies. So because of that, I didn't go for it. Instead, will be using a different plugin which is available for free to take care of that then the next feature here is the noise i would have also used this noise but this is giving typically white noise which is not bad but when you compare it to roc20 roc20 has multiple tape noise you can see the white you can see other ones that are thick that gives you that lo-fi vibe exactly which tape cassette doesn't have and finally the flutter effect which will replace the digital let's put it to work Right now for the remaining features let's quickly go through them as you can see it is noise distortion and magnetic but before we go into the sound demonstration using the free alternatives let's talk about the space the reason i did not include it this you can actually use any free reverb to achieve this but let's say for some reason you want this exact color in roc20 there is actually a tool you can use to sample this reverb and reapply it on any material so if you want to check that out the link to that video will be in the description and also below here you can see the tone knob feature which is just to brighten and muddy up the output you can also see the width which is like the stereo enhancer 
and there is a free tool you can as well use to achieve this which one of them is by isotope stereo image tool but i'm not going to be discussing that in this video all right so for the remaining features let's start with the distortion for the distortion this is how it sound in roc20 This is the free alternative, which is Saturation Knob by Softube. And I believe you heard the similarity in the sound. Now, for the distortion, I have two more plugins, free alternative you can use to create this type of distortion in ROC20. The second plugin there is Crush, which isn't bad at all. It is by Three Kits, okay? And the last plugin there is IVGI2 by Clegham, which sounds amazing as well. So let me quickly put it to work so that you guys can hear. So this is for the Clegham. All right, and the other one is Crush. So let's check it out. Alright, so a quick one, you notice the moment I engaged Crush, Crush sounded more like the digital which I will show you shortly and the DWSP sounded more like the magnetic. So this particular plugin is where I got the feature which is the magnetic and the digital from. So let me now engage ROS20 digital and magnetic so that you can hear the similarities. Right now, I know some of you will be thinking, so to just get ROC20 color for free, I need to deal with all these plugins? Don't worry, I got you covered. So stay with me because somewhere in this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn this whole chain of plugins into one plugin, all right? So stay with me.
All right, sorry about that. I think for the digital crush, you know, is uh, the feature that is very close to sound quality where you compare it and then, you know, you can just play around with these other ones to add more color to your own processing. All right. But one other thing I observed is to achieve this magnetic, which made the sound a lot softer. I was able to achieve that using this saturation knob, which is strange. And for some reason, I don't know why it happened the way it happened. Now, let me show you what I mean. When I increase this saturation knob right here, you notice that it softens the sound. And I don't know if it is because of this auto gain. So let me just show you. All right, as you can see, the moment I engage this, it's made the overall output more relaxed, but now added distortion to it if you listen carefully. All right, and finally, for the noise in ROC 20, which sounds like this. And I love that because it really gives that low file color. So I was able to get it using this plugin. So let's hear the two in action. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, for those worrying about having to deal with multiple plugins just to achieve ROC20 color for free, this is where things get super interesting. In FL Studio, the next thing I would do is to come to the channel where all the plugins are. In this case, I'm not supposed to include uh, ROC20 here, but just to demonstrate and show you what I mean. Click here and come over to Patcherize All. If you're familiar with FL Studio, you know that Patcher plugin is a plugin that you can use to build plugins inside FL Studio. Now, the latest version of FL Studio, which is FL25, point two came with this update so when you click on patcherize or click ok and there you have it all those plugins have been you know summed up into one plugin so to verify that as you can see this is rc20 and this is crush as you can see deep ivgi2 see all of them are there and they will follow the same sequence on how you stack them on the channel all right and another interesting thing i observed is i think to an extent it also helped in saving cpu and your ram all right so if you now want to further enhance this uh, plugin come over to the surface and build a ui like build each ui for increasing either any feature you want in each plugin and set up the trigger here for all the plugins but we're not gonna go into that and finally for roc20 let's say you want to now build the complete roc20 emulation for the eq you can bring it in here for this tone to brighten and to darken sound you can also put an eq there that will take care of that and for the widening you can put in the stereo enhancer you can also bring in the input and output gain knob and the overall global mix knob so it all depends on what you want so as you can see with this approach you can actually recreate your own rc20 using free plugins and get almost the same quality not the same quality with that of RC20. So let's have a final lesson to what we have before we wrap it up. All right, sorry about that. Let me consolidate it so that we can smoothly play it back.
So guys, that will be it for today's video. But if you want to have a more in-depth analysis of this approach, you can use the link in the description as well to check it out on my blog post. Then if you need this patch preset, I will also be leaving it there if you are interested to download it and it is completely free. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to leave a like, share your thoughts in the comments, subscribe and most importantly, turn on your bell notification so that when next time make videos like this, you get notified. As always, stay creative, stay focused and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.